Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. In today's video, we are going to just be doing a little reading and check-in for our beautiful collective here on YouTube. You guys know who regularly tune into the channel here that I do main collective readings every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but I do like to create additional content sometimes in between those readings, and I sometimes refer to those as mini readings so that's what we are doing here in this video and I will tell you right away that part of what inspired me to do this mini reading is I've been feeling that there is something really powerful and new coming for someone in love. So whatever this is, it carries a very fresh new energy to it. So Yes, this might be a new phase with the same person from your past for some of you, but I have to say that for the majority who will connect and align with this reading, this is an entirely new or very recent person or situation. So do keep in mind the messages in this reading are not meant to resonate with everyone. They are hyper-specific and they are really intended for those who will find and be drawn to this video and feel a resonance here intuitively because of course at the end of the day it's really your intuition that holds all of the answers for your life so it's my only goal through these readings to assist you in more consciously reconnecting with what your intuitive voice already is telling you. So I'm just seeing the number 222 on the recording timer, which of course is already a really powerful indication of alignment. That is such a beautiful synchronicity coming out here right at the beginning of this reading video. And I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the traditional tarot cards. So I want to say that this new love situation coming through has felt like someone who ha has been very much mirroring you and this mirroring is very specific so I feel that they mirror your desires in love and romance it's almost as though the two of you have been looking for each other or waiting for each other it's interesting because in some of my recent reading videos, we've been talking about how you might feel as though you are being put on hold in some sense romantically, meaning you might feel as though things are stuck or that maybe something just isn't coming together. Specifically for many people tuning into this reading, I feel as though your love life has felt really confusing or complicated or you've been single for quite a long time and yet you've had these glimmers, almost glimpses into what is coming that you most likely consciously wrote off as daydreams or fantasies. You actually have been sensing the timeline that you're now aligning with and the person that you're now aligning with i just keep hearing it's here they're here meaning they are on your timeline they are in your reality or your vicinity physically and you're going to be consciously connecting with them really soon or for some of you you've already met them or consciously connected with them but again i feel like this is someone who really mirrors your desires in love they seem to be looking for the same things as you and they themselves have actually had a similar feeling of having been put on hold within their own romantic life. The other thing that I'm getting about this person is that there are so many similarities and synchronicities. So you're going to find some uncanny similarities between the two of you when it comes to your either upbringing or your 
perhaps belief systems you were raised in or your current ways of thinking and seeing the world, certain aspects about yourself. I'm just hearing that you're going to be given very specific signs when it comes to this person that are meant to be indicating to you that you are meant to meet or that you are meant to connect. I'm also hearing that they are placed on your path. So it's almost as though you can't miss this person and they can't miss you. So a major message coming up is if you've felt the sense of this, felt that you're beginning to align with this person in love maybe you've just had an intuitive feeling about it maybe you've seen them or connected with them on some kind of light surface level it might be bringing up a little bit of soul restlessness within you because you can tell there's something really powerful here and it's easy to find yourself kind of wanting to get out ahead of yourself or wanting to kind of push this together or into place again feeling that restlessness which is totally natural by the way because when you do have a soul connection with someone and they are in your vicinity our soul naturally feels restless because that restless feeling is meant to bring the two of us together it's meant to push us to speak to them or approach them or communicate them or vice versa for that person to approach us or communicate to us but when it comes to this specific person, your guides want you to know that you're not going to be able to miss each other, that this isn't something you have to push or force, even if you are feeling that restlessness. They're really saying here just to relax into your peace, relax into your power and allow the unfolding here because something really powerful truly is unfolding in love for whoever I'm speaking to here. With the card no in the reverse position, I almost feel as though prior to meeting or connecting with one another, you've both had many instances where it just felt like a no over and over again in love. Maybe things would start to move in a certain direction and then suddenly be shut down or you would suddenly feel repelled away from a certain person in love or they might even disappear or stop communicating or pull away whatever the case was it always ended up that your soul or spirit seemed to be giving you a no about previous love situations and your guides want you to know this has not been accidental every no has been meant to protect and preserve your yes meaning the person that would truly check out at all levels and layers of your being and again something that just keeps getting emphasized here is you don't even fully consciously realize yet just how much you and this person are mirroring each other's feelings, emotions, past experiences in love. I just, I'm hearing fast friends. Even if this doesn't start out romantic, you're going to feel this magnetic pull to one another. You're going to hit it off very quickly. I'm also hearing that you have so much to teach each other. It's almost as though when it comes to this specific person, you both carry different pieces of the puzzle that unlock certain doors for the other. So there is this really beautiful harmonization here between the two of you because I feel almost as though you have certain things that you've learned throughout this life that are exactly what this person needs at this point in their soul's growth but the opposite is also true that this person has certain things for you certain aspects or lessons or things to teach you I'm, I'm hearing actually more so than the word teach it's give something to give you like a gift my guides are calling this meeting almost like a gift exchange except one that's happening energetically that energetically you both have gifts to give one another and that's why this soul contract is being so powerfully activated and also why you might be feeling some restlessness around this as well 
Okay, so I'm going to reshuffle the cards here and I want to see if I can get any more information about this love situation. What do the beautiful souls need to know about this? Okay, we have the justice card. Yeah, so you're both feeling a very strong pull here towards one another. This can be a card of past lives, karma, lessons. But once again, I feel this coming up because both of you, there's such an element of fate and both of you have something that you're fated to teach the other. So what else can I channel here? Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles in the reverse position, the Wheel of Fortune reversed, and the Ten of Wands in the upright position. So I feel as though one of the similarities between the two of you is that you both seem to have gotten involved in connections with people, whether it was friends or romantic connections, who weren't really capable of fully seeing you and appreciating you. And this caused you to take on more in those connections than was really realistic or possible for you. It's almost like your soul wanted to do all the legwork in those connections, but your human self quite literally didn't have the emotional capacity, the energy levels, the ability to keep up without becoming absolutely exhausted and overburdened. And it's almost like the two of you provide this sense of respite from all of that burdenment from feeling overwhelmed and overburdened in connections because you are both givers is what I'm getting. You are both individuals that give so much to others. And with the wheel of fortune in the reverse position, you are meant to help each other turn the tides for the other in some sense. Now I'm getting that for one of you, this turning of the tides could be more material or circumstantial. So for one of you, there might be circumstances or material issues in your life. And the presence energetically of the other helps you to turn the tide and bring new energy, new inspiration into those more material areas of your life. For the other, this is feeling more emotionally based. So one of you might actually be feeling stuck emotionally or a lot of stagnant emotional energy. And so the presence of the other energetically actually frees up this stuck emotional energy. So both of you are freeing stuck energy in the life of the other, but it seems to be happening in different ways. For one, it's more emotional and for one, it's more material here we have the Ace of Cups in the reverse position. So at least one of you does seem to be dealing here with some kind of repressed emotions or sadness from an unrequited love situation from your past or a situation where you expected it to go a certain direction and it went an entirely different direction. And you might still be holding on to some of that pain I'm hearing the pain of not feeling chosen by someone in love or maybe even feeling like a second choice. I don't know why I'm getting that specifically. That won't be for everyone, but for you or this other person, there may have been this pain from the past of feeling as though either in a general sense or very specifically with one person from your past, the love that you were pouring into them, the love that you were giving wasn't being returned or requited. And so with the Eight of Cups here, there is this sense of finally abandoning some kind of plan from the past, finally letting go of something that felt as though, or maybe it's someone that felt as though they weren't choosing you and appreciating you fully. And in that release and surrender, relaxing into the energy of the Empress that knows her worth, that knows her value intrinsically, that's connected to her deeper inner spiritual nature and the natural value associated with that inner nature 
Now, this is irrespective of gender. So regardless of whether you resonate more so with your feminine or masculine energy, because we all do have both internally, I'm seeing that the action of surrendering, which really it's not so much an action, but more something that you affirm to yourself mentally, something that you do mentally and emotionally to surrender needing to be chosen or seen or appreciated by someone who didn't have the spiritual capacity to see you in your full empowerment, releasing that in order to allow in the blessing here, to allow in the gift, which I really feel is this powerful new beginning in love. So, wow, beautiful messages coming through here. I'm going to be channeling more about this situation. But first, if you are resonating with this reading, I really recommend incorporating my love magnetism subliminal into your daily routine because this subliminal is designed to really clear out any stored blockages that you might be holding in your energetic field that might be preventing you from fully vibrating at that frequency of unconditional love, which is is the most powerful and magnetic frequency on the planet. So this love magnetism subliminal works through each of the seven chakra centers to really deeply remagnetize your energetic field to attract in positive romantic attention and support and adoration in your life, not just romantically, but this also magnetizes you with love energy, which allows you to attract in more abundance, more opportunities, and more positive interactions with others all day long. So this subliminal comes from my subliminals app, Sound and Soulful. And as you can see on the screen, on this app, I have over 130 subliminals for every area of life. So we have subliminals for money, fame, love, relationships, energy, clearing, and so much more. Subliminals are so powerful for manifesting because they contain unconscious spoken affirmations capable of bypassing the conscious filter of the mind and making deeper, more lasting impressions on the subconscious mind. Really, it's the subconscious that is the powerhouse of the mind. So when we use subliminals to reprogram what's happening in the subconscious, we can shift our mindset and transform our reality extremely fast. When you sign up for a free trial account in my app, you get access to every subliminal I've created in 10 different background sound options. You can even create your own custom private playlists and you can read the affirmations while you are listening. So again, the link to download the Sound and Soulful app is in the pinned comment and description box under the video. You can also find it by searching Sound and Soulful in either of the app stores. Okay, so let's see if we can pull any final messages about this love situation. I just heard release the burden. Now is the time. So if something's been weighing on your heart space or really feeling like a burden to you, whether it's someone from your past that you've been trying to hold on to or trying to make see you or something that's just been weighing you down emotionally, I'm really feeling this message coming through around giving yourself permission to surrender that worry or fear through stepping fully into the present moment, no longer ruminating on that past person or situation to the best of your ability and really focusing on what's showing up for you now, who's showing up for you now, allowing people to reveal the truth of themselves to you with the deceit card reversed as you stand in your power and confidence. I'm hearing the universe can work faster than you can possibly imagine. So maybe you actually made a request from the universe. Maybe you asked for this kind of person to manifest in your life or for this type of love situation to unfold. And now it's coming to you even more quickly than you may have consciously imagined possible when you made that request. If you haven't made that kind of request, then this might be coming up because maybe 
you will feel guided to take time to write out a list of everything that you desire out of an ideal love situation to essentially set the standard for what you desire in love and then to surrender that to the universe and basically say universe this is what I desire this is what will meet all of my needs spiritually mentally emotionally, physically in love and see what shows up for you. Because once again, I'm getting that message that the universe has the power to work more quickly to align people in love than you might even be allowing yourself to imagine. But I do feel a major key component here is truly allowing yourself to be honest about what you really need and desire in love and to hold that standard for yourself, whether it's coming from a specific person from your past or whether you are imagining this person who's entirely new or hasn't yet come into your life, embodying all of those traits and qualities. There is this need to be fully open and authentic with yourself about what you need to support you in love because you also do carry this really powerful spiritual mission and purpose and the universe desires to support you in that. So as you really make a request for what you're desiring here and then surrender it, you are going to be astonished by how quickly the universe works in your favor here. So wow, this feels like such a beautiful place to close the reading. Thank you so much again for tuning in today. If you do resonate with the reading video, then I invite you to subscribe to the channel, join our beautiful community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. You can also follow me on Instagram at Magnetize Yourself, where I post more energy updates, inspiration, and information. Of course, if you do feel a resonance with my subliminals or the idea of using them and your intuition is pushing you in that direction, then I will be leaving a link to download my subliminals app and sign up for a free trial account today underneath this video in the pinned comment and description box. Otherwise, I am sending you all so much love and light energy. Have a beautiful remainder of your day, and I will connect with you here again in the next video.